Yes, everyone, welcome back to the Irish Hotspur, fresh off of the performance against Bayern Munich, which was a very mixed bag one. Dave and I definitely given a lot of our says on it in the watch along, especially in the post match of it and during halftime. But this is why we go to Twitter React so we can see what the rest of the Spurs community has to say, what they're thinking. Definitely plenty of a mixed reaction. Some people telling people to calm down, other people completely losing their minds on it, which is pretty much what we would expect and pro- probably why we even enjoy a bit of the Twitter reacts. And also, we even asked you guys, you know, did you want us to? produce maybe these even despite sometimes certain results and uh, it looked like that you guys still do enjoy it even if it isn't you know maybe the most you know kind of happy clapping fun you know kind of uh you know light-hearted type of a recording so we're gonna put up a brave face and we're gonna take a look at what the various uh spurs creators as well as other spurs fans throughout this wonderful community of ours have to say but dave before we get into it any words from yourself yeah, look, I need the therapy jack, so hopefully the Spurs fans can provide me this. Let's go. All right, and if you can for us, please smash the like button. If you do enjoy these Twitter reacts, we're recording this just after we finished up with the live stream on the watch along, and also get in the comments down below what your favorite of the tweets are, what you think uh, is maybe a good reaction from some of these yeah. uh, tweets that we're about to take a look through. But let's go first to the very bottom. We started with Johnny H here, and he says, The Spurs youngsters, Barrick Ball, Divine, Moore, Donley, and Abbott showed the senior players how to play without fear and with tempo. Their link play and touches at times was superb, in my honest opinion. I think you are being honest, Johnny, but I think with these younger players... You could look at it two ways where you're really impressed by, you know, how they've taken on the pressure. They've done exceptionally well. They've actually given a lot for Ange to think about. You also could then look at it as why is it that these youngsters seem to, again, you know, perform better than some of the senior pros and seem to have a better understanding of Ange ball than the senior pros? That's a maybe a concern of ours at this point. Mm. No, 100%, but I do think that you can only take the youngsters off what was asking them. Are they good enough to play like this against teams like Bayern Munich and stuff? And they've proven mm-hmm. that there's no fear that they are. So I think that is probably one of the only positives you can take from today, that we have got them answers. But I'd also argue it's because they've got a massive point to prove. I think some of the senior players are maybe becoming a little bit comfortable. Yeah, they could definitely start to be get a, a little bit comfortable. Absolutely right on that. Johnny Evans saying it would be great if our fan base cannot overreact to a loss in preseason, but that's probably too much to ask for. Definitely too much for Dave and I to, you know. Clearly doesn't like, know the fan base. <laughs> clearly doesn't understand us or doesn't, you know, how we like to respond to things. But, you know, I, I appreciate that there's somebody who's great, uh, not losing their minds like maybe Johnny is. Football Confidential saying Levy haters need to take a day off for F's sake. Uh, he always works to uh, the best of interests of Spurs. He has a plan and we just need to be patient. Remember, there are no quick fixes. You're going to feel like idiots when he wins the title in 21-93. Not even 20-93. <laughs> Forgive me, 21-93. So let's just be patient, people. Come on now. Great sarcasm. Great sarcasm. I love it. Losty saying, I'm telling you right now, £8 million for Bergvall is one of the most insane deals I can ever remember in the modern era. This is literally an £80 million pound player i'm so glad that i said this before the twitter reacts uh, on the watch along i mean dave it's so spurs it's one of my favorite things about us i'll be honest that we do have this knack for finding the next gem that no one is aware of that no one even knows exists we've done it from modric we've done it in the case just recently with the romeros the vicarios the van de vens the udojis it just goes on and on and on gareth bale I mean, it's so many players, Lucid Dembele, like just so many guys that we've just brought through to this club for very, very little money and then end up being some of the best in the game. It's just one of my favorite things about being a Spurs fan, I'll be honest. Oh, look, 100%. I think we do pull out these gems. And look, that's been the whole case of my Spurs, uh, yeah. my, my time supporting Spurs, that we've always found these gems. And that's one thing we actually do really well. It's just if we could sprinkle them with some some big yeah. signings, you know, would by now we would be talking about multiple league titles and stuff, and there probably wouldn't be the unrest in the in the fan base that there is, Jack. No, and uh, that's the thing, right? That Spurs just seem to find it. The harder part would be to discover these gems, you know, that mm-hmm. no one can find, you know, like that uh, that are all across the world and in various leagues that no one might watch. But Spurs seem to find that to be easier than to, to actually just delivering, yeah. you know, a, a concrete signing that everybody's already well aware of, of how good they are. They just seem to have it a bit backwards, but I kind of love them for it. I'll be honest. Kevin A says, going uh, by my Twitter feed, my understanding that this is Lucas Bergvall. 
Um, he's the number eight. He's the number 10. He's the all-action midfielder. He is the next Zinedine Zidane, Dave. I mean, we've replaced Zinedine Sosberg. Yeah, we have. We've got... Um... We've got uh, Lucas uh, Sarsberg right now at this moment in time, Jack. He's been absolutely phenomenal. I thought his performance there coming off the bench was absolutely fantastic. He showed James Madison what's expected of, you know, a Tottenham midfielder task with the creativity. We've had some great ones in years gone by, and that's one area we will not accept mediocr- mediocrity at Tottenham is in the forward line, considering how blessed most Spurs fans have been with some of the players in the four positions that they've had to witness at Tottenham in their lifetime so that's one thing we won't tolerate is crap and um, fair play to Bergvall I think you know for eight million pounds he's come in here and he's probably been our best midfielder our most consistent midfielder over the course of pre-season and look like our most dangerous is it any coincidence we create more chances when he's on the pitch it's very convenient that he has a Berg in his name so that we can just pass on the torch of uh, that nickname onto someone else here. I think that's yeah. very beneficial to us. Uh, Shazi saying, I like this tweet. If you think Bergval should start, well, looks like you've already gotten hundreds of tweets there. Seems like Spurs fans are very much in your favor. Whiteheart Liz says, really excited about Lucas Bergval. Looking um, more like more than likely that he's going to be my third shirt for this season. Uh, Adrian Chia, if you are listening... <laughs> And you're thinking about replacing the Basuma third kit, even though Dave and I are big defenders of Basuma, you could consider maybe Bergvall. And I don't think you could go wrong with that one. I don't think you could go wrong. And uh, Adrian, uh, Chio, definitely get on that. Pedro's ping from that Tottenham feed. I mean, Dave, it's just look at the celebration as well, the seriousness. That's also maybe bringing up Hoiberg. It's kind of like that goal he scored against Liverpool, where I love the serious face, you know, immediately afterwards, right? He's all business. Uh, do you know, I, I absolutely love it. It's You're spot on. Like Hoiberg, you know, he, they just get it. Just get the ball. Don't bother coming and high five me. Remember Harry Winks went to high five Hoiberg. He nearly growled at him. You know, none of that. Just go and get the ball. Let's go again. Why, why are we losing games of football? I absolutely love that mentality. He could have stood there, bowed, waved that everybody. He chose not to do it. Look at him. He's pointing. Get the ball. Get back here. This is embarrassing. Absolutely love that from Pedro Porro. But Jack, we expected it. Remember when he hit back at, um, what was his name? Um, Tim Sherwood. Oh, Tim Sherwood. That's it. Thank you very much, Jack. Remember when he hit back at Tim Sherwood? <laughs> Absolutely loved that. So I expect that from this guy. It's a medicine ball slamming into the wall type of goal there uh, from Pedro Porro. Just uh, he's been training for this moment. And uh, yeah, just oh, absolutely. It's just such power. a screamer too. Um, I forgot what I was going to say there, but I absolutely just love Pedro Poro's just seriousness in it. He's just a real baller, isn't he? He is the postman. Oliver Freeman saying, I'm starting to think I was wrong about Johnson. Well, I appreciate your honesty there, Oliver Freeman. Who's to know, right? Johnson, I've meant, I've said this, like I am a big critic of his. I think Dave is as well. I think this is going to be the deciding season for him. He's going to come out and he's going to have to, I think, discredit a lot of his haters or he's going to come out and he's going to prove a lot of his supporters uh, right or wrong, really. And it's uh, it's just going to be a finding out type of season for him. Is he actually the guy that we brought in for 50 million pounds? Is he really worth that fee? And tons of different questions, I think, will be answered this upcoming season when it comes to uh, Brennan Johnson. And uh, I'm excited to see what it will unfold is. Hopefully I won't be frustrated because uh, he can be a frustrating player. Simon, you may... For- yeah, yeah. Just quickly, for anyone that doesn't know Ollie, that's a big thing for him to come out and say maybe he's wrong about Johnson, you know, because he's been a big backer of Brennan Johnson. But I can only hope that Ange Postacoglu learns off Ollie. And as the same thought process, I was wrong about Johnson. I will not start him anymore. And uh, Simon Humane saying, clutching your pearls over a match, none of you will remember in about two months. Well, I think that's a fair point about press probably forgetting about it at some point. But we're living in the now, Simon Humane, and we're losing our minds. Living the moment. <laughs> Philly says, don't want to put too much pressure on the lad, but already seems like the entire future of our club rests on Bergvall's shoulders. The kid is just special, and he's alongside a lot of these youngsters who are carrying us right now. It's not even just Bergvall. Mikey Moore, even just recently, you saw some other youngsters come onto the pitch and uh, Jamie Donnelly and so many others that have been technically carrying us so far this preseason. And who's to know, maybe they might do it in the full season ahead. Spurs fan John saying, well, first half was appalling. Second half, much improved. Still lots to improve on. Absolute worldy from Poro. Hoping for more goals from Pedro this season. Basuma was both good as well as bad. Bergfall continues to excite us. Matters and Johnson were really poor. Do you think this is pretty accurate from John? 
Yeah, pretty much spot on, to be brutally honest. Apart from Basuma being bad and good, you know, you can't be bad and good. If there's bad in the performance, it's more a bad performance than it is a good performance. So that's the only thing. <laughs> I think uh, Dave's now on the glass half empty approach at this point. Our <laughs> yeah. international preseason comes to an end with a slightly underwhelming game against Bayern. I thought we looked very open and had that. And had they had Kane and Sané, we'd have probably lost that quite heavily. All in a decent preseason. All in all, a decent preseason. One more to go before Leicester. And please, everybody, follow this man. This is, let me scroll back up to him. It is our man, Sam, who you've seen on recent panel shows on Thursdays. His uh, username is Sam uh, or Spurs Undercover. Please ha- go over and follow him. He's a great guy. And I think he deserves some support on, mm. on the Twitter platform. Billy says, using anime to allude to a move to Spurs, I'm all in, bro. <laughs> I think it's Dominic Solanke. <laughs> and uh, I wish he joined us on the preseason tour, because I think he, being such an anime fan, he probably would have really enjoyed his time in Japan, uh, Dominic Solanke, but we couldn't afford him that uh, that uh, that privilege. And uh, this is a funny one from Profsper. This is even more aggressive than I am with my Emerson love. And he says, Emerson Royale is the ultimate ball knowledge test. If you don't understand, he's a really good defender who's also pretty good and pretty tidy on the ball and just not suited for an attacking role. You fail the test. I don't know if I can go as far to say that Emerson is tidy on the ball or good on the ball. I think he plays it very safe most of the time. And he does have an okay pass in him every now and again that people might not recognize. I will say and maintain probably to my grave that I think Emerson is a good defender. In a lot of cases, he can be a good defender. I think today showed that. I think previous games, of course, in his career at Spurs will show that. But I think it's just one of those guys, like maybe a Johnson, like many players. He's just a very divisive one in the fan base. Some people stick up for him. Some people really don't rate him and really don't like him. But I will practically die on my grave with uh, believing Emerson is actually an all right defender. Emerson Emerson has actually been a very good defender for Tottenham. Unfortunately, because he's a fullback, you need to be able to do both sides right. of the game. And on the ball, he's very scatty. He's very laxy daisy to a degree. He almost thinks he's Ronaldinho when he's really not. And I genuinely think that's his biggest problem. He's better than what he is. If someone just maybe took him down a peg or two on the ball and just said to him, look, just move it a bit quicker... I don't think he'd be, he'd probably get as much criticism as he gets, to be brutally honest. Um, you know, but unfortunately, yeah. to play in this modern day and age, especially in the system we play, you've got to be able to do it going forward. And unfortunately, he lacks on that a little bit. So that's probably why he finds himself out of the club. But defensively, we've always maintained he's very good. I love the Emerson agendas here from uh, Profsper, and I bet he's definitely riled up a few <laughs> with that one. Mike, uh, uh, just laughing at... Uh, this Arsenal fan already trying to take uh, the gimmick out of us uh, in this Bayern game. I think he's just reminding them of their recent performances um, against a Bayern Munich. And also let us remind them that they got knocked out by Bayern Munich just last year in the Champions League, right? So I think uh, we can take this preseason loss and uh, we'll take it on the chin. I'm not sure if the 100%. Arsenal fans would be able to. 100%. It doesn't matter. Like We, we can feel doom and gloom about it, but one thing we're not going to do is let Arsenal take the piss out of us. So, you know, I'm glad we're uniting on that front. Billy saying more in Bergval will be starting by Christmas. He also says Royale laying off a trick pass a 2 nil down. And some of you guys have the audacity not to want this to want this guy so. <laughs> I remember I pointed it out to you. I think it was, I pointed it out to you. I was like, "Why did he feel the need to do that?" You know. Uh, he, he's got to do it. He's just got to do it. That's what I'm talking blood. about. The guy thinks he's Ronaldinho, Jack. <laughs> he just has to do it. It's in his blood. It's a part of the character. Uh, Billy says senior players didn't impress. The kids did. Sign some effing players. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Even shorter to the point than uh, John was, and it's also very accurate. Uh, very DC. Efficient says Spurs fans when we're losing in preseason for effing shit and out sell the lot Spurs fans when we're winning in preseason it's only a friendly it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they're consistent <laughs> in some way it seems like they were just waiting for this uh DC it seems like they were um this is a great moment to sort of yeah. clean the palette happy birthday to Ozzy Ardiles the one and only one of the greatest midfielders to ever serve for the club an absolute legend, and I know my dad is a big admirer of Ozzy Ardiles. Hopefully, you know, Le Celso can take some inspiration if he's going to be kept around this season from someone like Ozzy and get on the bloody pitch. Well, uh, Ozzy Ardiles has party, been, Ozzie. he's been very close with Romero, and I wonder if uh, Romero has uh, in some way 
been kept mm-hmm. around or you know has had that love for Spurs through someone like an Ozzy Artilas because I've seen him interview Romero on a couple of occasions and they do seem to have mm-hmm. a, a close connection so and also Ozzy he's kind of like uh, taken on that ambassador role like Ledley King has um, of recent and I think he's doing an exceptional job of it to have both Ledley King and Ozzy Artilas mm-hmm. I think we're truly lucky to have these guys still around the club no, 100%. Great ambassadors for the football club and absolutely adored by fans. And I think it should be, you know, a, a, an example to any player at Tottenham Hotspur. If you want that adulation, you don't go into the into the media and tell fans how they should support you. You earn it. Mm. And these guys certainly did. And the last thing, Ozzy has brought something to my attention. And the one, probably the only thing Spurs that I don't have. Where did he get that? I need one. <laughs> Cause Spurs, like, uh, I don't yeah. think that's, a, what it, uh, is. I doubt that's a Komodo because it is Korean. By the looks of things, so I'm probably generalizing here. Yeah, just a robe of some kind, and it's a uh, definitely something that Dave needs. You know, post yeah. post uh, post bath, post shower. You know, feeling <laughs> good in the evenings when he's settling down for you know an evening of FIFA or something Expect- like that. Exactly, football manager outfit right there. Um, happy mm-hmm. birthday, to Ozzy Ardiles. Feliz yeah. cumpleaños. Um, Invert the wing, if you need the context behind this, Dave, Invert the wing got blocked by Pedro Porro because of all the <laughs> criticism he was giving him. And he's saying Tottenham fans will not answer why Pedro Porro, the right back, who could not get an international call-up over, over the 38-year-old Jesus Navas, is the man to take them forward. But yes, he is a brilliant player. Someone's looking a little jealous. Someone's looking a little salty yeah. now. Invert the yeah. wing. Pedro Porro posting his own uh, goal there. and um, I think he's given that like a trademark sort of a symbol there, kind of the, you know, the the certified, it's certified Pedro Poro. It's an unbelievable, that's an even better angle of the goal. It's unbelievable. I think this Fair is the Burnley the... one, though. I think that's what he's referring to, Dave. He's saying it's his trademark, I think. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be his trademark, to be fair. He has scored quite a few of them, well, a few of them for Tottenham. I, I, you know, it seems to be a thing with right-backs. They love posting their own their own highlights. <laughs> we, the only right-backs we're allowed to buy expert. have to post their own compilations. <laughs> That's It's essential now. Um, but yeah, yeah, Pedro, the certified banger. It's just he has it in him. We know he does. Um, this one I thought was very funny. Um, people are already realizing maybe Sonny... Starting to show the signs of age. <laughs> no, that's not the signs of age. Come on, they, they've obviously had, they've obviously had their legs ran off them, yeah. you know. And sitting on a bus after training like that can stiffen you up, you know. I go walking with the old lad, you know. I'm sitting in the car on the journey back and getting out, you can stiffen up. That's all that is. Poor guy has to still pose for a thousand pictures as well. <laughs> like, well, still, you know, trying to figure out yeah. uh, that uh, that soreness. Um, Billy, just. just- yeah. Well, if he is like that, why haven't we got him a wheelchair? Why is someone not pushing our Messiah around in the wheelchair? I don't get it. <laughs> Dave would be happy to do it for free, it sounds like, you know, to push Sonny around in the wheelchair, you know, make sure that he's uh, cushioned up. Vuskovic, Dave, another kind of palate cleanser here. He scored. I tell you, Spurs fans don't realize how good this kid is going to be. When he arrives next summer, it will not take him long to get into that Tottenham lineup. He is going to be sensational on the ball, good in the air, dominant, superb player. This is a seven- and Croatian. That's quite that's crucial. They always produce good players. Absolutely, and he's such a tall centre back as well. He's just going to be a man mountain by the time he's 23, 17. 24. I think he's seventeen, right? Eighteen. He's not even yeah. eighteen yet. And this kid's <laughs> rising above Belgian defenders like that. Now he's in the Belgian Pro League, not even in the in a, derby game. in a derby game, and he's rising above like that. And I wonder if that's even for an equaliser uh, as well. Tenor, tenor bets we see one of them against Arsenal and not running derby in the future <laughs> from him. Mikel Moritzen, uh, more palate cleanser kind of stuff here. Land, <laughs> Johan Langa, data scouting, Paratici, <laughs> Syria scouting. If I uh, get the context, Dave, yeah, that's the, the Turkish uh, gunslinger for the uh, who won the silver medal, I believe, in, uh, in the recent uh, shooting uh, in the Olympics. Right on the left, looks like Steve Hitchin. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, Simon Maine saying, Barrick Ball plays like someone who was made in a lab specially for for Ange Ball. I think he just looks like he was made in a lab just to be playing football, really. The kid is just so aesthetically pleasing to watch. He's got the hair. He's got the looks. He just has that build as well. I mean, he's a lot bigger than Madison is. He's like six foot two or something like that. For such a big guy, too, he has a good touch on him. He's just such a silky, beautiful player to watch, really. He's absolutely made in a lab. 
end up. We're rebuilding Abba at Tottenham Hotspur. We're just two players short, and we'll have Abba back again. <laughs> and then uh, Billy saying, um, "You know, football is back when your team are one nil down before you've even managed to find a decent <laughs> stream." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used to hate it. I, it does nothing worse. I absolutely hate it. You feel like just turning that off and walking away. <laughs> and uh, this might be the last one here. Pedro Poro, I did not need special equipment. I'm a natural shooter. <laughs> <laughs> this is great co- collaboration and uh, kind of cross, you know, kind of uh, yeah, cross media of the of the sports yeah. of the Olympics as well as Spurs. But there it is, everyone. I think our best attempt at trying to do a tour de reacts as quickly as we can right after the game. Hopefully you do appreciate it. Hopefully you still enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts on the things. Smash that like button as well. And uh, I think we'll see you next time. Dave, any final words from yourself? No, look, thank you very much, Spurs fans. You've lightened my mood a little bit. You guys are absolutely class despite the loss. Best thing about this club by a mile. Yeah, classy fans. We'll see you next time. Come on, you Spurs. Big entry trust. We never stop. See you, everybody.